Hello, this is Dr. Shweta Aratya and welcome to the Limitless Brain Lab channel. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing and sharing. It means a world to us. We will continue the research in bridging science and spirituality in neuro parenting and for the parents I have a little surprise. Hang tight and then of course we talk about the brain health. Today we are going to take up one of my favorite pranayams. I think the world has lost the art of breathing. Breathing is quintessential. Firstly we breathe by the chest which is not the right way to breathe we are not even conscious and aware in fact last couple of weeks back i got cold and then i realized oh my god you know i'm not able to breathe when we realize the value when it is lost but breathing is such a powerful tool to activate the brain now if you are looking for a balanced life if you want to have emotional regulation if you want to be cool and calm in any situation if you want to foresee a problem and then solve it absolutely confidently you don't want to be getting moved by the situations around you as i'm talking to you we know the fresh incidents of a uh, air crash and a lot of people are all talking about it and i strongly feel that we should not be talking a lot about the problem because then finally we are disturbing the prefrontal cortex circuits that we have in fact we should only focus on the solution so if you have not seen our gratitude prayer please do see it in the caption i want each and every person who flies to thank the captain thank the pilot to thank the entire process because finally remember any thoughts that we think is creating a coherence the coherence which means the energy fields are expanding now i am not an energy expert but i love conducting experiments while calling the energy experts and what we have seen is that a focused mind a prepared mind has much larger of a biofield much 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 wider and aura as compared to the normal person now i always keep saying that if you want to do an experiment please do try on an orla app a u r l a in your iphone to see pre and a post now today this particular pranayam is very dear to my heart let's assume that you just had a loss a terrible terrible loss let's assume it was a financial loss can you in that situation be equanimous can you say that yes i will fight again that is where the quality of prefrontal cortex comes in so what is that prefrontal cortex this particular prefrontal cortex is the seat of human consciousness so we have three brains there is a brain stem and all our videos we have been talking about this fundamental thing and then we have the limbic system or the emotional system the emotional system is always scanning for threats do i need to uh, take care of this do i need to take care of that it is always giving us that preparedness so sometimes over preparedness becomes fear anxiety overthinking fight flight i cannot face it i'm completely frozen and i i just cannot think straight of late my parents were also succumb to one of the digital arrest scams and they could not reach me because uh, of certain issues because their prefrontal cortex was totally totally shut they just could not think what is happening of course they are old and obviously the pressure as you know these kind of scams i request every single person to be aware about such scams as well which happened in india now this prefrontal cortex is such a powerful tool to make your life or to break your life now what is this prefrontal cortex doing now also we need to remember that there are two parts in the brain so there is a left part and a right part and both the parts are synchronously working when we studied peak performers in our laboratory when we did lot of uh, interviews with these peak performers leaders thinkers successful people people who have made it people who have changed people's life success just does not mean material success success also means contentment joy happiness so many parameters with which the success can be measured as well you may be extremely wealthy in fact the latest data has suggested that 39% of millionaires and billionaires suffer from depression now you have all the wealth under the sun and the moon but what is the point if you just cannot have the mental stability for it so this left side and the right side is extremely important the left side of the prefrontal cortex is very important for motivation for the drive for doing the tasks while right side is very important for giving that creative aptitude it is very important to balance you don't overthink most people when they have a slight imbalance 
in the frontal cortexes. We also do actual brain scans with the EEG to figure out what is happening between the left and the right. The left side of the alpha and right side of the alpha is measured. When there is an access of right alpha, we have anxiety, fear, overthinking. If there is a left side of an alpha which is access, we do see people who are withdrawn, unmotivated and quite depressed. Now, what is the reason why we need to balance the two sides? That is very clear for us that for a clear equanimous approach, for getting things done, for being prepared, for having a cool, relaxed, rest and digest, an absolutely perfect autonomic nervous system as well. We have been talking about autonomic nervous system also. Sympathetic helps me fight and flight. Parasympathetic allows me to stay, to rest, to digest. Now, if you are thinking, how do I balance the left and the right? Go back to your body and figure out which part of the body has two ways which leads to your brain. Yes, you got it right. It's the nostrils. You, you, all you had to do was just a one pipe, which is just breathing in the air and then getting uh, the oxygen. That's it. But that is not how the entire body's physiology and chemistry is. So you breathe from the right side and you activate the left side of the brain. You breathe from the left and then you activate the right side of the brain. Now, when you do anulom vilom, anulom is taking in vilom when you take it out. When you do that in the proportion of one is to two, when you take a breathe in, you don't need to hold, which is also called the rechak. You can have variations of anulom vilom, but what I'm going to tell is a very, very simple scientific methodology because this is what has been studied in the literature. There are a few studies which have suggested what happens when anulom vilom is done, particularly when you measure the brain waves, when you have the quantitative electroencephalogram, when you hook up a person with the brain and then you are doing the anulom vilom, very interesting thing is happening. When you are breathing to the right, yes, there is an activation of the left and also a general overall activation. When you breathe through the left, there is a posterior or back of the brain activation and a slightly lower activation as compared to the right. Now, this is very important. And specifically, if you follow Swara Yoga also, you know that the right side is represented by the pingala or the sympathetic nervous system, while the left side is the ida or the parasympathetic nervous system. Now, when you are doing alternate nasal breathing, you are simply closing one nostril, taking in the air and then closing the other nostril and then exhaling. Please remember the ratio of one is to two. This is very important to activate the vagus and also to have the prefrontal cortex balance. A very seemingly looking Nadi Shodhan practice. Very, very easy. Does not take less than two or three minutes to just complete a few rounds of it. Is very important for the balance. When we do measure with our neurosense scans, we do measure and tell you, is there an asymmetry? If you are facing difficulties, we give you a number. This is the number that you start with. And then you start doing an alone below and in our experience 70 to 80 days you start seeing that change this is the beauty of the brain if you say that i'm stuck in a problem i cannot come out i'm not able to make it happen you can make it happen if you do scientifically certain processes hi this is dr shweta aradhya welcome all of you to dubai in november 15th and 16th we are going to have a massive and explosive learning which is from the top stalwarts across the globe we have dr krishnesh mehta joining dr val alino we have dr kalai who's a memory expert, Ashtavadan. All this is happening on 15th and 16th of November, a retreat one of a kind, one of a kind to elevate your brain game. If you have been struggling with memory, this is the place to be. We will be showcasing a beautiful brain booth where you can experiment how to improve your focus, attention, relaxation. All this is happening. Grab your seats because we are just going to have only 50 invitations for the retreat. It's just at a mere 500 US dollar until the 30th of June. So welcome each and every one of you in a beautiful, amazing five-star beach resort in Dubai, in UAE. Welcome from the Limitless Brain Lab and personally from me, Dr. Shweta Aradhya. So in the entire practice of pranayama, which is nothing but the control of your breath, breath is everything. In the Swara Yoga, Swara Samaheshwara. What a beautiful thing. That breath is the fundamental pivotal force by which you and me are breathing. Remember, your breath, my breath 
Everybody's breath is one single cosmic breath. Breathing is the bridge to the mind. Breathing has all the power. When I started to do Anulom Vilom and we started to monitor what is happening in the brain, some amazing stuff came out. I am also going to share here a few papers which has been showing that you feel calmer, your blood pressure control happens, your mind control happens, overthinking comes down and you feel much, much, much balanced and equanimous despite the situational circumstances. So keep doing the pranayam every day. Small little practices go a long way. And that is the purpose and the mission of the Limitless Brain Lab. If you have benefited from Anulom Vilom, please do put it in the comments because whatever you share is not just expressing it out. It is helping so many millions of people to actually learn and then put it into practice. I always say knowing is knowing and doing is doing. Start doing for yourself. Start that experience and experiment and you will see life changes, life changing for you. So thank you so much for being with us in this episode of the Limitless Brain Lab. I am Dr. Shweta Aratya and please do write to me and we will also be coming out with some special premier content which will be more, many more tools for the development of this prefrontal cortex. Hang tight as we continue this journey together. Thank you for all the love, care, share. Do not forget to subscribe. Thank you so much and Namaskar.